Hey everyone. Hey everyone. Sorry I've been a little MIA because the last time you saw me I was five days so that was on Monday and today makes one week since tubal reversal. Mm -hmm. So I have to say that the pain has subsided so I haven't used any pain meds which is good. I think the last time I used ibuprofen was on Monday and um, so now I'm just on the gas X still because this blow is ridiculous and um, and I am also still doing the stool softener because I'm just TMI I know but I just got to so this is my hubby Samuel hey, hey, hey. so he's joining me today because I wanted to say um, how it's feeling and give you updates and um, I want to say thank you so much for subscribing and again if you have questions um, feel free to ask um, I will try to find the answers as soon as possible. Um, I'm a little squinting my eyes because we're outside on yeah, the porch. Sun is bright. Sun really is bright, bright. <laughs> and um, yeah, so we're here and we just wanted to share a little bit of story. So you could say this is like update and then part two of our journey of tubal reversal. And um, so we've been married, it's gonna be September. It makes 12 years that we've been married. We've been together for 15 years. Mm -hmm. And um, it has not, it's been good, but it's not always has been good. Cause like I said, we not like super like sanctified people. You know, we may be um, believers, but doesn't mean that we don't go through stuff. That's basically true. And um, sorry, cause our daughter, you know, this is real life people, sorry, real life. So um, in our first year, it's the second year of um, this weekend. marriage. Our first year of marriage when we were together. See, our daughter is interrupting while I'm trying to do this video, and I have people who are going to view this video, so I'm so sorry about that. That's our little girl. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. So, in our first year, we got married in uh, 2006, and um, that's our daughter. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so, in uh, 2006 of September, and like I said, we've been together. Uh, for 15 years and I'm married almost 12 and um, first year of marriage that we got together my husband had a child prior to our marriage he has a son who's now 22 and he's gonna be 23 in December right yep. 23? Grown man. Grown Grown man. man. yeah <laughs> we're not trying to be grandparents yet though <laughs> no way and we make sure that we tell him that every single day cuz y'all I'm too young for that nonsense for real. we too young for too that young. Catch don't, me let, when don't I... let the grace fool you Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> so um, when he he first year of marriage he moved in with us and got we got custody and that was really hard on me and on us on our marriage and it was a lot we went through a lot second year of marriage we end up finding out we're pregnant with our son right mm -hmm. and um, who's now 10 and that was a, a pregnancy that was up and down we thought we were gonna lose him um, they told me I couldn't get pregnant and I ended up getting pregnant because God is amazing oh yeah and um, I was on bed rest at five months. I was one of those people that had the amnio and then leaked. I mean, it was the most craziest pregnancy ever with my son. Then he was born premature mm -hmm. at three pounds, two ounces. And if you was to see him probably later in these other videos that we'll <laughs> have family, you would have never thought he was premature. Yeah. Then um, almost two years later, um, our daughter was born. Um, it was a pretty smooth pregnancy and that was with Naraya, mm -hmm. so that's her. <laughs> That was eight years ago. She just turned eight in June. And um, during that time, we were going through a lot of stuff. Um, my husband didn't know if he wanted to have another baby. And um, so having our daughter was like, I had to fight him for that one, I think, right? Well, and just to elaborate, just so that you guys all understand, mm -hmm. and um, you know, I'll share as quickly as I possibly can. I don't want to bore nobody. But... Um, yeah, it was a it was a rough time because um, you know my father was never around like that for me. So my whole mentality was I needed to be a better father than my father was. So when we got custody of my son, you know, um, you know that was my mentality. You know, I gotta be a good father. I gotta be a good father. I gotta be a good father. You know, and at that time it was really rough. You know, for our marriage because we were freshly married. We we're in a brand new married ma married um. Marriage. Marriage. Yeah. And we were, you know, excited about that. And um, we wanted to, um, you know, grow on our marriage because we were newlyweds. We were excited and stuff like that. But it was kind of hard, you know, coming, you know, being new into our marriage and then having a, a, my son. Yeah. Because, you know, he was already a preteen. He was already set in his ways. 
and things like that. So long story short, you know, because, you know, my wife's relationship with my son was so rough, that kind of caused me to feel a certain way about having more children. And, you know, um, after our daughter, you know, I was just like, well, you know, well, I didn't, I didn't want any more kids, you know, but at that time, you know, I was, I was kind of angry, but at the same time, very selfish because I thought about what I didn't want, but I didn't think about what my wife's feelings and just to any, to any husbands that are, that, that's watching or any married couple, you know, you know, it's something that you have to discuss as a, as a couple, as a married couple, you know, I, 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 uh, I was so set in my ways. I, I don't want no more children. I don't want no more children. Not realizing the damage that I caused my wife, and you know, I, I really, really hurt her yeah. really bad. And you know, I made a decision based on emotions, and that's not something we, we, we should do as believers. We, we get led by the Lord. The Lord leads us and guides us, and uh, He'll help us make the best decisions possible. Never make decisions on emotions, and that's the decision I made. And, you know, I didn't realize how much damage that caused my, caused my wife. So, you know, after she, you know, when the doctor asked us, are you sure you want to do this? You know, She asked me, our doctor yeah. asked us, I think, three to four times yeah. a day. And sorry if the camera's shaking because I'm holding it. I don't have my stand. But um, it was like, uh, I really wanted him at that moment. I remember looking at him like, I hope he changes his mind. Please let him change his mind. But I didn't want to go against him because like, I didn't want issues or arguing and it wasn't that i had to like listen to my husband or like i had to be like um what's that word um submissive yeah submissive it's not that i was trying to be like that christian submissive wife and i need to listen to my husband no it was more like he was head of household and i really didn't want issues and arguments in our marriage and because our marriage was already a little rough because of the situation and the things that we were going yeah, through. It was tough. It was tough. tough. Yeah. My pregnancy was a little, like, it was good. She was a good pregnancy, but our marriage was tough in the pregnancy. Yeah. And so I just didn't want to just, I was just like, okay, I just went with it. But I did not want to go right. and have my tubes tied because our first children, our two children, our, our daughter and our son, those are our miracles because, like I said, they told me that I couldn't have kids. Yeah, my and, wife didn't even, sorry to interrupt, but yeah. my wife even told me that, um, you know, in, early in our relationship, she told us that she won't be able to have, give us um, children. And, you know, I was just like at the time, I'm like, that's fine, you know, I love you, know, I want to be with you. So, you know, but, you know, God had different plans for us. You yeah. Know? So, um, but uh, I'm sorry, babe, go ahead. No, so, yeah. and I was just saying, so, then they tied my tubes. So and, yeah, uh, so when it was she, rough. When she tied her tubes, you know, I didn't realize how, like, I I didn't realize how much it hurt her, you know. Um, I did find out in time because our marriage changed. It shifted. Yeah. You know, intimately wise, um, it, it was rough. It wasn't the same. I know um, that's probably TMI, but yeah. yes, what happens? I'm sorry to interrupt mm -hmm. you, but. One of the things that happens, um, and maybe they don't tell you, that there are side effects with um, tubal ligation, which is the post um, tubal ligation syndrome, PTLS, and I had a lot of those symptoms. If you need to go look them up, look them up. But um, one true. of the one of the side effects is your sexual libido. Mm -hmm. Okay, I had none. Not that I was like Miss Miss Superstar before then. I'm just saying. It was, you know, you, you desire your husband, you desire the person that you're with because, you know, you're married with them, you desire. I had no desire, none. Yeah, it, it was rough, you know, intimately. Um, occasionally, my wife would cry and she would start, you know, she finally started expressing herself and how much I hurt her. Yeah. And, you know, it took her some time, but she, it was, it, it was a matter of time where she broke down and said, you know, I guess she, she felt the need to let me know. And when she first broke down and, and told me how much it hurt it, her the tire tubes, my I, I was destroyed. I I had I was lost for words and you know, she you know, she kept expressing how you know how she felt and how it affected her emotionally, of uh, intimately in so many ways and, and it was and it it just it happened because it was it was clear as day in our relationship. And, you know, it was it was it was obvious, you know, and I, and it it was like that for a while. And, um, you know, got the stand, y'all. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> it was like that for a while, and I went through a period of frustration. And, you know, I couldn't understand her, 
you know, I, I started feeling like she wasn't attracted to me no more, or I started feeling like she wasn't into me no more. I mean, as a man, it, you know, it, that affects you a lot, but then I also had to understand where she was coming from. And more importantly, that I broke, I destroyed her by thinking selfishly and saying, no, I don't want no more kids based on anger, when in reality, you know, more kids would have been beautiful. Yeah. And so time went by, and you know, I once I I, took, I heard from a um, good friend of mine. He passed away. Um, you know, he was an older guy, a Christian man. He was like older fifties, and he once told me, "Man, if I, if I get remarried, you know, I would love to have children." And I was like, "Really?" And he was like, "Yeah." He was like, I, I, "Whatever my wife wants, whatever makes her happy." And I was like, "Wow!" Like that really ministered to me and ministered to my heart and my spirit because yeah. I was like, you know what, God says. Be fruitful and multiply. And not that we're going to have 100 kids, y'all. <laughs> we're not saying that. No. We're not saying that no. God wants you to go and be dumb and have like 20 kids right, and then right. you can't just, <laughs> you just can't, you know, you can't afford them. We're not saying that. Right, so please right. don't go and be yeah. like, well, I heard yeah. this lady on yeah. YouTube and her husband said to be fruitful and multiply. So I'm going to go have my 18 kids and counting. Right, right. We are not you, saying you that. You kind of know where to draw the yes. line, you know. But we just, you know, our family, is, you know, we had two. So we could have, you know, I... My thing was like, man, it doesn't hurt to have another one or two little ones running yeah. around because it's, it's only going to expand our family. So I finally hit me where I said one day I, I broke down and I apologized to my wife wholeheartedly. And my wife forgave me. Like my wife really openly forgave me because it was hard for my wife, you know, to really even like forgive me it was during really that time hard, because guys. she was like, she was destroyed. And I, I, I couldn't comprehend how bad i heard it, it but was, i saw it in it our was, marriage it was depressing yeah. i had anxiety i had depression i hid my depression i hid the way i felt from him i hid my anger i, I sometimes i expressed it because i mm -hmm. expressed my anger really well yeah um i was just very distraught and i felt like a failure i felt like i wasn't a whole woman yeah. and i felt like he wouldn't be able to understand that and i guess yeah. you know our communication at the time of all the craziness wasn't good and in a marriage you have to have good communication oh, yeah. I'm Absolutely. through the forgiveness Absolutely. and through God because it was only through him that we learned how to forgive each other mm -hmm. and how to move on mm -hmm. and how to have the hope of one day having a tubal reverse so we yes. some days no I'm not gonna lie I had I gave up a lot yeah because every single time we were close to having the money it would always something would happen and and like normal life things and mm -hmm. and then we would lose it again and i was like okay i'm getting old i was like but then i said you know what i was like see you always tell me mm -hmm. he was like well sarah had a baby and i was like listen i'm trying to be a baby have a baby at 90. <laughs> but i was like hey you know I, if if i speak so much about having faith and i preach to others because we're ministers also if we if we preach to others about having faith but we don't yet have faith then what are we preaching we're exactly. just speaking to speak we're not exactly. we're just speaking and we're not taking action and i started learning that and god and and i started learning how to hear and speak and listen to god honestly and and to say you know when my husband spoke to me he was like it's not too late it's not too late that i started saying okay yeah so <laughs> and, and adding on to that you know she was kind of you know at times struggling you know uh, and and you know the fact that there was a chance to reverse it number one when she told me that I was like wow I because I was like you know this is this is an opportunity for our marriage to flourish this is an opportunity for us to reverse what happened because it was a mistake on our behalf you know on my behalf really and um, you know I said okay I gotta make this right you know I don't know how I'm gonna do it God Lord God you hear my prayers you know, I, and, and I said, hon, we're going to make this happen. So it's like she said, every time we, we felt like we were close, we are getting money, this and that, something always came up. And yeah. no matter what, I kept telling her, hon, just ha don't lose faith. Have hope, have hope, have yeah. hope. And she was like, okay, hon, okay, hon. And, you know, so I kept thinking of ways. I, I tell you, I, I kid you not, it was like I always found myself thinking of ways to get this money. But I was like, okay, not in our time, in God's time. Because mm -hmm. God's per time is always perfect. So it was just the, after the eighth year, which eight represents new beginnings. Yeah, and then in the Bible, there's a whole bunch of numbers. And eight in the Bible means new beginnings. And this is 2018. That's and, right. And the eighth year, our daughter turned eight this June. Yep. So I was able to find a way to get the money. And I was blown away. I said, oh, my gosh, God, you are amazing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I... 
and she, I, you know, throughout the years, my wife got better with it. Like after she forgave me, you know, um, you know, we still struggle here and there from time to time because it still affected her, but mm -hmm. not as much as before. Mm -hmm. And I, I appreciate her, appreciate her that for, for I appreciate her for that because because it was rough, you know. And throughout all these years, I was trying to make up for something that you know I knew that. It was a mistake on my behalf and, and I was like, man, how can I make this right? But my wife still accepted her husband and loved her husband throughout the whole process. So I love her for that and she never gave up on me. And she never held it against me. You know, it was just something we went through during our marriage. She didn't mean to be that way, but she, she felt hurt, she was destroyed. But after eight years, okay, and I started doing my homework. She didn't know that. See, yeah. I was going into a personal choice website. I was looking at all the testimonials and I was just like exciting, excited. I was building up excitement like this is, this can happen. Wow, I could see them possibly another little boy or girl running around our household. Amen, praise God. So I didn't tell her I was able to get my, the money. And so I planned it out with, with our co-ministers, our, co our friends, our brother and sister in Christ. I planned it out with them and said, listen, I'm going to surprise her for Mother's Day this year. And I'm going to pay for the, the two uh, reversal. And she's not going to know about it. I need you guys to keep it on the hush. I said, oh, oh my gosh. Secret. All the secret behind yeah, my back, so guys. Excited. They were so excited. They were so excited. Oh, my gosh. So I was like, wow. So I was finally able to get the money. When I, t I tell you guys, when I got that money, I ran to the bank why I did over right away to uh, personal choice, I wasn't playing. I was like, ain't nothing coming up that's going to interrupt this process. So I planned it out one day when she was on her way home from work, you know. Um, she came home to a chair. I kind of decorated it like a baby shower. I'm going to see if I could put up the video somehow on YouTube to share it with you guys, to share that day with you guys, because that was a memorable day for me and for both of us. And um, I'm gonna see if I could put something together yeah. um, and compile it so that we could share that day with you and um, yeah. the day that he got to tell me that we're gonna have our two believers. Yes, and, and you know, I got down on my knees and even though my wife forgave me, I needed to ask her once again to forgive me because I, I want to start with a clean slate. You know, God gave us an opportunity to start over and man, did he do that? Oh my gosh! And we, we already, you know. So my wife is here. She's healing from the yes. from the tumor reversal Sorry, surgery. Sorry, sweating. It's a little hot out here. It was very successful. Shout out to Dr. Monty. He was amazing. A personal choice was amazing. Yes. Amazing experience for me as a husband too to go through this journey with my wife and knowing that we have new beginnings. We have a chance to do this all over. So don't let these grace fool you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so even though we're not usually, we know that with tumor reverses. A lot of times it's like from marriages that were broken and got remarried and so our story is a little different because mm -hmm. we we are married we haven't left each other we yes, still married yes. so it was just a mistake that would happen but you know this is for husbands too you know um, I wanted my husband to be on this YouTube channel so that you could hear his side the male version yeah. of what was going on with yeah. us and um, you know definitely but, um, I encourage you know well you know Always talk to your wives and communicate everything mm -hmm. and, and know what they're feeling, you know, before you make a decision. Because, you know, what I did to my wife, I, I wish I could take back, but what's done is done. But you know what? God gave us an opportunity to make it right, to yeah. start all over. And so here we are. And moving forward, you know, it's all about communication. I need to see how my wife feels, yeah. you know, and, you know. But I learn. You live and you learn, you know. Yes. And then now my wife and my oldest son, they have a great relationship. I mean, everything happens for a reason. We have to go through that storm to get to a better place yes. in our lives. So, you know, yeah. and God is good. Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> so we just wanted to share that story. We know, I know that usually I don't take this long in my um, YouTube uh, channels and like when I put up my videos, but I really, we really wanted to share our story with you. Yeah. And we'll come back a few more times more of just discussing other everyday life stuff that we go through. Absolutely. But um, we appreciate you. God we, bless you we, guys. you know, we're so excited about mm -hmm. this journey. We're excited that you're excited with us. Yes. So um, thank you for the subscribers who have subscribed. Yep. Um, definitely hit that bell in the bottom for any notifications when I do put up new videos. And um, we cannot wait to continue to share our journey with you yes, and it's exciting um, it's super exciting <laughs> yeah. exactly one week today we made a week already like yay oh and ladies i know i was talking about my cycle last time cycle is gone so now it's opk time 
Woohoo! I just gotta make sure she's ready. You know? <laughs> first, so that's TMI. You but, know. <laughs> um, so first time, we're gonna try for first cycle and see what happens. And just I'm gonna share that journey with you and keep on trying and see whatever God gives us gives us. And you know what? If if like I said in the beginning of my first video. It's a blessing to have more children. But we said too that if this doesn't happen, I got me back. Yeah, so yeah. I'm happy about Either that too. Either way, it's a blessing. Yeah. And um, my wife is happy. I'm happy. Yeah. And it's just a matter of now, it's, you know, what, let what go happens. and let God. Let Whatever go and let God. God. <laughs> so we hope that you have a blessed day. Apologize if this is too long. Sorry, we appreciate yeah. you if you lasted all the way to the end of this yeah. video. Do hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and we will see you probably maybe in another day, probably by Friday. I'll put up another video. All right, y'all. Take care. Nice Bye. video. God bless.